Hi, we're excited to announce our intention to build a brand new 52,000 square foot facility in our Michigan, North Dakota location. We're planning to break ground on it this fall with doing some dirt work and we'll be keeping this existing facility that we've operated in since 1968 on site. We plan to try to find a renter and rent it out to another business to get another business going in the city of Michigan. Uh, as we look over to the west, we're going to have a road that goes right into it um, off of the frontage road, so it'll be directly adjacent to our current property. Uh, we're very, very excited about this change, and our decision in Michigan, North Dakota is the same as it has been since my family started the business here in 1963, the decision to grow. Grow with our customers, grow with our staff, remain relevant, and make sure we're offering world-class service in this community. In uh, 1963, we, my, my family moved back from Canada. And my dad bought the dealership. Well, actually my dad and a partner bought the dealership from Lamb's Lumber. And they're located right downtown Michigan, uh, right across from the Johnson store. They ran in that location until 1968. And there too, what they ran into, the building was too small. They couldn't, couldn't service the customers. So they bought this 10 acres up on the hill and they built a, uh, built the store. 1975, they ran into the same situation. The, the building was too small. The, the machinery could not fit in there. And uh, so we built on this other addition here in part of the office. Throughout the other years, there's been additions put on the place to make it more efficient. There's on the parts warehouse, all the back shops. 1983, I came back and uh, worked with dad, my wife and I, and, and, and our families. And in 95, I purchased it from dad, and uh, we ran it, or I ran it, until Jim came back in 2006. And uh, then we ran it together. We purchased other organizations, we bought Devil's Lake, and we bought uh, Aunt Carrington, and also Hamden came along with that. I sold out in 2017. Throughout the years, it's been an excellent business. We have people that have farms that have dealt with us, I believe. One I can think of off the hand, there's four generations on a farm that have dealt with us in this organization. So uh, as the equipment got bigger and as everything gets bigger, we have to get bigger. There's been people that have worked in this place. There's one employee, Mike Houghton, his father was here. And he's been here, he's been here for 40 some years. Uh, a lot of the people in this organization have been here. The, the, the beauty of being in a small town or a small town area, you know the people that are working here. A lot of you grew up with them. And, and it's been just a great experience. It's one of the great things of being a part of a family business is we deal with our customers' families. And when we talk about multi-generational and all the examples that go along with it, we want to be sure we're reinvesting in the same area that those families live and play sports and go to school. As we look to the future, our mission is the same as it was when my grandfather started in 1963 and for all the years that my parents ran it as well. We come to work every day and ask customers to reinvest in their farms to become more efficient. We need to be willing to do the same for our business. We'll continue to do that. My grandpa always had the quote that once you get one mile out of any town, no matter what size it is, there's somebody farming. That was true then, just as it's true today.